The AI game just got disrupted again. DeepSeek dropped into the scene and it's very impressive. In this video, I'll show you how this powerhouse is taking the SEO content game to the next level and give you the exact blueprint to leverage its potential. You'll learn the easiest and fastest way to generate SEO content that is engaging, ranks and converts. Let's go. All right, so this is DeepSeek. If you want to check it out, head to deepseek.com. Now, how does it compare against the other models and what is all the hype about? Well, they've put it front and center here and you can read through this. I'm not going to go through it except to say it basically wins across all the major metrics, whatever. We know it's good. Let's take a look. To do that, pretty easy. Just hit start now. Now, I'm just going to ask DeepSeek to generate a blog and then we're going to do the same thing over on ChatGPT. Put it through Grammarly's AI detector and see how they compare. So we'll go with draft a 1000 word SEO blog titled what is cloud storage? Everything you need to know. All right, let's do the same on ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is now finished. We'll go back to DeepSeek and we'll put that one through first. So we'll just copy a big chunk of it. It doesn't have to be all of it. All right, we'll use Grammarly to check it. Paste it in here. Let's see what it says. All right, so straight out of the box, DeepSeek's getting 23% of the text appears to be AI generated. Let's see how that compares with ChatGPT 4.0. Take another big slab of text. Just refresh this. I know we'll clear it. Paste it in here. See what it says. So 23 versus what? So ChatGPT is coming back with 72%. So straight out of the box, you can see that DeepSeek is writing much better humanized type content than ChatGPT. But I think we can do even better with that when we put it through an application that uses the combination of DeepSeek with an algorithm to enhance it even further. All right. So I'm over here on Sigma SEO. It now has tools that are powered by DeepSeek. Let's take a look. So I've just logged in. I'm going to head over to the tools menu and we get to keyword research. Why am I doing this? One, it should be well written, humanized, ideally pass AI detection, but it also should target keywords. So I'm just going to put in here cloud storage because that is what our article is about. Let's get some keywords. So I'm going to select a few of these like cloud storage, Google cloud storage, cloud storage for photos, and maybe cheapest cloud storage. Why am I doing that? Well, they've got good monthly search volume so people are searching these keywords. And also some of them are difficult, but like cheapest cloud storage and cloud storage for photos, we should be able to rank for these kind of keywords. Now let's generate our content. Now I've just jumped over here onto the Stealth Writer. It has just been upgraded. It is now using DeepSeek to do much of the processing combined with the algorithm. This should give us some very good results. I've entered in our blog title again here. So what is cloud storage? Everything you need to know using English language. You could select whichever language you want for the tone informative. We'll stay with the same target word count, US Canada for our region. And I've just pasted in the keywords. We will stay with standard AI detection avoid avoidance. I'll run you through that a bit in more detail in, in a minute. We'll stay with the first person, the domains technology moderate. We'll go with plain text output. And yeah, we'll include an FAQ and metadata. All right, let's run it. The content has been returned. This is it here in the top box. And we've also got our FAQ and our metadata suggestions. What I'm going to do is just copy this and we'll go over to Grammarly, which we've been using and we'll run it through it. See what happens. So with Grammarly, we have 0% of the text appears to be AI generated. So that is very good. That's what we're looking for. And we'll also chuck it into Quillbot just so that we, I can also demonstrate that it, it will pass tests in other tools without too much of an issue. So 0% in Quillbot and also 0GPT, which is another commonly used AI detection. Let's put it in there. And Zero GPT saying around 12% AI or GPT generated, which is pretty good. So across the board, we've got two zeros and one at 12%. I think that's a really good result. Earlier, we did put in our target SEO keywords. I just want to show you how you can check that they actually were added into the article and their distribution is throughout. So 
on your browser. Most browsers should do this. If you hit Control F, you get this little search box up the top. So I'm going to type in cloud storage and you can see there are 50 results on this page. Now, a few of them are up in the top in the input boxes. But if we go down, you can see that they are throughout the article here, all highlighted in yellow. Now, if I go to another keyword, if we go to say Google cloud storage, you can see that it appears nine times, so eight times within the article. And just quickly, let's have a look at best cloud storage for free. And there you go, it is appearing four times. So three times it'll be in the article here somewhere. One, two. So not only is Sigma SEO and DeepSeek generating content that is basically undetectable by AI. You also have the ability to target different regions, use different languages, and also target your keywords from the keyword tool. Now that keyword tool I showed you, it is using live Google SERP data. Okay, so a little bit earlier in the video, I mentioned this AI detection avoidance level. It was set to standard. If you put it on high, what it's going to do is it's going to reiterate the content that was generated in standard and it's going to sort of take it up a notch. And I can show you what this means. I've generated the cloud storage article again. For example, if you look down the bottom, it's added this last comment, which is very humanized. It says questions, drop them below or slide into my DMs. No judgment, we've all cried over lost files. And then it says word count, 1023, mic drop. Here's a bit of a pro tip for you. If you've generated your content, but you want to generate, say, a lot of different content and take a look at it later, don't forget to set up the Dropbox. You'll see on the home page, scroll down a bit, you'll see the section here. It says get Dropbox. If you click this, you get a free Dropbox account. And then after you've finished generating your content, if you want to save for later, just hit save. It'll open some pop up. It'll close down again. And that's it. It's done. That's all it takes. If we go back over to Dropbox here, there it is. And it's in docx format and you also get it in markdown format you can integrate dropbox with no code integrations like make.com and you can send this directly into your cms into wordpress into webflow into whatever tool you're using so i hope you've got some value from this video if you did consider giving it a like subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one